Adam, you cannot ruin bacon. Bacon is not just the key ingredient to my nachos. It's my thing. Oh, yeah, dude, same shirt. Everything's better with bacon. I too love the flavor combination of animal fat and salt. But the only reason bacon became a pop culture meme factory is that the pork industry waged a massive marketing campaign to pump our bellies full of pig parts and to cover up the health risks. Oh sure, it's a big pig conspiracy. Give it up, Adam. Nobody cares if bacon's a little fatty or whatever. Oh, lots of people cared 30 years ago. <laughs> In the fat phobic 80s, the pork board was able to market the heck out of the leaner cuts of the pig, such as the tenderloin. Okay, which fit person got the other white meat? Oh, me. Aw, a meat cute. If you ask me, the 80s were the high to low fat and the golden age of rom-coms. But the pork board couldn't figure out how to sell the largest part of the pig, the fat-filled pork belly, which is where cuts like bacon come from. Anybody want this? Hmm? Hello? Ew. So, to solve their big fat problem, they teamed up with the fast food industry to create a bacon bonanza. Like so many American mistakes, the plan was conceived poolside in Orlando. In the early 1990s, the Pork Board's national marketing manager was schmoozing with Hardy's president, Bob Autry. Now what the hell am I gonna do with all this pork belly? Nobody wants to eat it. Oh, I'll make them want it. I'm gonna come up with a sandwich with the grease dropping down their chin, and we'll see what they say. Gross but also delicious, maybe. After this meeting, Hardee's debuted the game-changing Frisco Burger. Introducing Hardee's Frisco Burger, melted Swiss, sizzling bacon, and sliced tomatoes. It wasn't long before other fast food joints got in on the greasy animal fat action. It's a bacon club chalupa. <laughs> Guys love bacon. With bacon strips, bacon jam, and bacon crumbles. The smell of fresh cooked bacon. It just moves you. Come try a Wendy's Bacon Eater. And finally, after years of being told how epic bacon is, we turned it into a pop culture phenomenon. There's bacon cupcakes, bacon bars, bacon lip balm, bacon A's, bacon soda, bacon bandages, bacon lube, bacon wrapping paper, bacon air freshener, and even bacon film festivals. The fad was so huge that in 2008, seven out of every million baby boys were named Bacon. bacon. I just love love. So I built my entire personality around liking bacon because the pork board told me to? Pretty much. But while they were shoving bacon down our throats, they neglected to mention that bacon can cause cancer. There is overwhelming evidence that consuming processed meats like bacon increases your risk of cancer. Health groups even rank them a group one known carcinogen. Even if you eat just one club sandwich or hot dog a day, estimates show it increases your risk of colorectal cancer by 20%. Aw, but I'm so good at eating hot dogs. Someone must warn Kobayashi. Processed meats have also been linked to obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. But big meat is fighting like hell to make sure you don't hear about it. Hey, stop that, you little punk! Let me talk to you for a second, huh? The pork and beef industries have known since the 70s that their food poses serious health concerns, but they've bullied the USDA and Department of Health and Human Services into downplaying the risks. In 1977, these guys were basically allowed to make their own line edits to the US dietary guidelines. You see that word? The chairman of the National Cattlemen's Association even pressured them into removing any reference to decreasing meat consumption. We don't like that word. Is he gonna chop his finger off? Worse, he's gonna hit him with a lobbying money. Here, yeah. buy yourself something nice. When the US was gearing up to write its 2015 dietary guidelines, the meat industry spent approximately $10.8 million in contributions to political campaigns and another $6.9 million in lobbying. Oh, hi. Sorry, it's uh, cold in here and I'm really scared. Ah! 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 Wow.
can't believe my love of bacon was manufactured by a capitalist conspiracy. And to think we've been wearing these silly shirts that normalize a known carcinogen. I mean, maybe instead of Murph's nachos, we should eat, I don't know, vegetables. <laughs>